This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321 and in today's video I'll be taking a look at Van Diemen's Rhubarb Crumble. I'll be doing a writing sample on Tomoe River paper and I'll take a look at a writing sample that I did previously on 20 pound copy paper. Then I'll compare Rhubarb Crumble to similar inks from my collection and finally I'll take a look at the results of the water resistance test. The first writing sample was done with my glass dip pen and the ink came off the nib very uniformly. It was pleasant to write with and there doesn't seem to be much shading but like you can see in the scribble there seems to be a, like a dark halo around the writing that looks very nice. Then I did a swatch with my tweezers where I just pinched the tweezers together and dipped it in the ink. And the swatch is very uniform in color until you get down to the end where I lifted up the tweezers and it left a little drop of ink. You can see a little shading and really it's just more of this halo. There doesn't seem to be any sheen though. First up is my Pilot 78G with an extra fine steel nib. It doesn't feel scratchy, but it doesn't feel smooth either, and it doesn't feel dry, so I'm going to just put that it's not scratchy. But I wouldn't call it um, nice or enjoyable to write with. One thing against it is the line is very, very fine, and this particular color, I just don't find it to be very legible. Next is my Pilot Prera with a fine stainless steel nib. This is much better. I've got just a little more legibility, that extra little bit of width in the line. This is nice. I wouldn't call it smooth, but it is a pleasant writing experience. Next I've got my Pilot Custom 74 with a 14 karat fine nib. This is much smoother. And I like the amount of ink that it's putting down that's overall much more pleasant. Next is my Sailor LeCool with a medium fine stainless steel nib. I was concerned about this pen. Sometimes this pen is a hit and miss on Tomoe River paper, but first impressions are good. I think I like it. I like the line that it's putting down. It feels smooth, which, like I said, is sometimes hit and miss with this pen. And this particular color looks good with this finish. Next, I've got my Caveco Percao All Black with a medium stainless steel nib. I like the sound of this nib on paper. You can hear the, it doesn't feel scratchy, but you can hear the sound of the nib on paper. I just really like it. And the writing experience is very nice. Next is a Pilot Metropolitan with a Cursive medium steel nib. This nib is also hit and miss. Sometimes it 
feels too dry because it is a, a drier writing nib, but felt pretty smooth. Next is my Caveco Lily Put with a double broad stainless steel nib. And I mentioned that I would note any time this double broad nib didn't feel smooth. I won't say it doesn't feel scratchy or unpleasant, but this is the first ink that has felt not just entirely buttery smooth. I can feel the nib on the paper and I can hear it. It's, I, it sounds like the same sound that the Percaio was making, but it's not as pleasant as the Percaio. It's, it feels like I can feel the nib slit rubbing across the paper. And finally, this is a Jinhao X750 with a 1.5 stainless steel stub nib. While this writing sample dries, let's take a look at the writing sample on 20 pound copy paper. Most of the writing samples bled through all except for the extra fine and the pilot fine nib and I expected that from the amount of feathering I was getting. This was a fairly wet ink on the wider nibs, you can see the edges look kind of ragged. And on my Pilot Custom 74, since it's a, a wetter writing fine nib, it just felt a little too wet. Now the Prera, it felt very smooth. And the Lacool was also very smooth. In fact, it was my favorite. It put down a just a slightly wider line than the Prera and so that lets you see the color of the ink a little more and I really like the color of this ink. I don't know how color accurate this is going to be but it's kind of a it's a rosy pink. The Percale was nice but again you see the edges look a little ragged and even on the Metro that's kind of See how dry of a writer it is. It felt really smooth, but the edges just look a little ragged. This is a nice pink ink for a fine nib. Now the inks from my collection that are similar to rhubarb crumble, and look at that swatch in the rhubarb crumble. I love it. It's so uniform up here in the swatch, but you see there is some potential for shading. Dimine Syrah is similar. It's a lit. oh, it, it is very similar. If they're not right beside each other, it would be hard to tell the difference. You can see from the swatch, rhubarb crumble comes across a little, a little lighter. Writer's Blood, I chose. It's the same type of color, but it's much more saturated, but it's a similar performing ink in that both of these were really wet writers. Rouge Granat is a little more red, but similar, performs similarly in fine nibs or looks similar in fine nibs. Noodler's Black Swan and English Roses, similar, but a little more saturated. Robert Auster Rose Gold Antiqua is, the underlying ink is a rosy color like this, but that gold shimmer that's in it alters the color the appearance of the color a little bit. Sailor Magno Kuzu is a similar color, but because it's more saturated, look, you get a much wider range of colors or shades. In my water resistance test, you can see most of the ink washed away. I'm able to read some of what I wrote in the wetter nibs and the wider nibs, but in those fine nibs, it would be difficult to read your writing. 
And since this was such a wet writing ink, I'm curious to see the back of my Tomoe River writing sample. And it looks like just on the really heavy swatch, it came through a little bit. And no, even on the dot at the end of the swatch, it didn't come through. Just the normal amount of show through. I'm not seeing any sheen, but when the ink is laid down really heavily, you get some haloing. In the finer nibs, I'm not seeing much shading. There is a little, but in the Percao and the Metro and the broader nibs, the shading shows up a little more. This is a nice ink, especially the wetter writing fine nibs. Um, it's just a, it's a nice pink and that, that halo gives the writing a little more interest. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.